Hi, I'm Chase Thompson Baugh with Simply Mac, your local source for everything Apple. We're a Utah based Apple specialist with eight stores in Utah, Idaho, and Wyoming. And today we're going to show you some more quick tips on the iPad that I know you're just going to love. Now I'm going to talk to you about how you can increase the page size or the font size on your iBooks. So I'm going to come over here and I'm going to go into iBooks, but several ebook readers have these same options. Let's go ahead and let's tap on this book right here. And you'll notice that the print is actually not that bad. I mean, as far as a book goes, that's pretty good. But if I'm having trouble reading it, I can come up here to this little A and big A, tap on that, and you'll see I still have another little A and another big A. If I tap the big A, my font gets larger, making it much easier to read. If I don't like that it's larger because it's now taking up too much space, I have several different page flips to go through now, I can tap the little A and the font will get smaller fitting more on the page. About right here is about the kind of size that I like for this um, type of a device. The print is just large enough that it makes it really easy on my eyes because of the backlit screen. If you had uh, a device like the Kindle that doesn't use a backlit screen, uses e-ink, then maybe you would want the print smaller. But this is totally a personal preference. You can also tap on the A and you can change uh, in, into a sepia tone, which kind of dulls the background makes it a little bit easier on the eyes. We also have this little uh, brightness slider so we can adjust the brightness. So even though it is a backlit screen, you can adjust it so that it's very easy on your eyes and very comfortable to read. Again, I'm Chase Thompson Baugh with Simply Mac and I'm just showing you how you can increase the font or the page size in iBooks on the iPad.